Hello everyone, I've got a Daphne's Diary um, quick flip through and project uh, share for you today. Now this is Daphne's Diary number three. Um, I've just received number four, haven't had a chance to have a look through the magazine yet. I've had this one for a few weeks. Um, it arrived, I don't know, a couple of weeks, 10 days maybe before I went away on holiday. I did actually take it to Spain with me but as you know if you watch my um, previous video to this I came down with Covid whilst I was away on holiday and just didn't feel like doing anything. So let's do something with this magazine today. Now this is the beautiful front cover and let me just flip it over. That's the back. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? I mean I know they all are aren't they? Um, inside back cover and inside front and I'm just going to give you a quick flip through. Usual, we've got all of these wonderful pages that we can use in our journals. Um, so, just going to quickly flip through this, and if there's anything that stands out, um, I'll let you know. For instance, beautiful um, trims that we can use as washi tapes in our journals. Absolutely love this um, henna art. We could cut out the hands, for instance. Um, love this image here and this beautiful floral page. You know, I love to use the text in my journal as well. This is just gorgeous. This is one of their beautiful poems. Um, love to use these as well. And then we've got four or five pages of gorgeous butterflies. Um, you can never have too many butterflies, can you? So we've got this page here. Then these are on cardstock and are double-sided ready for us to cut out to make a beautiful mobile if you wanted to, but I just think these are great for using um, in journals. So we've got all of these and then let me carry on. We've got beautiful line work. I love using black and white, especially against colourful backgrounds because it really stands out. So, you know, we could use these beautiful illustrations um, here, beautiful folk art images that we could fussy cut out. There's loads of them, um, loads of these. Then um, this article here um, from an artist called Chloe Remiat, um, sculptor and illustrator, La Boutique. I just love her artwork. It's, it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, really whimsical um, and fun. So carry on. I love this page here as well. Just think this um, is absolutely gorgeous. Love this bird here as well. We've got some stickers love the cake page and then um this is an artist that i'm pretty sure i've seen in the magazines before mr finch um textile artist and we've got these gorgeous moths and i've either seen his work before or certainly by a similar artist love this hair absolutely beautiful not so clinging on the spider if i'm perfectly honest um but you know i don't like them um love this artwork there were just so many beautiful pages in this particular edition i love these parts here this beautiful vintage image um, this you know would be beautiful to to use we could cut out these i mean there are so many things to harvest um in this gorgeous magazine this is wonderful um edition um, we've got this page here i love how colorful um, that is um, we've got this as well piece of um cardstock that we could we could use um i think this makes um an envelope by the by the looks of things Carrying on more beautiful images here and just beautiful bits that we can cut out. Love, love that. Um, then we've got these beautiful plates. Um, I made my own plates and bowls. So um, beautiful designs by this um, artist. I like these a lot. Love this. The electric bicycle or e-bike. Of course, this is a penny farthing. Love the postage stamp. In fact, I've got one of these or several of these in my postage stamp collection. Flicking through again, what else we can find? These beautiful um, vintage images, some lovely recipes. Let's have a look. Now, this um, is a stencil um, that you can punch out um, with a view to stenciling your own canvas bags. I don't think I'd use it in this way, but, you know, just absolutely love this. So it may well be that I punch that out and see what we end up with love these designs here i think these are colorful absolutely gorgeous um very sort of festival um orientated some postcards 
love this sleep between the hills and the sea one of cornwall's best um kept secrets so a cottage that you can stay in in um cornwall does it say where it is goran haven i've not heard of um that i love cornwall then we've got some beautiful teapots love this page here as well with the cupcake um on it we could maybe do something with with that there are just so many beautiful pages for us to use now we've also got the poster that we receive in each magazine let's have a look and see what um, this one um, is so let me see if i can get this in camera shot for you let's start at the top and move our way down so we've got beautiful sort of mandala style and then some um, blackberries, lemons and a teacup, butterflies, um, le papillon bleu. That's gorgeous. Colours for spring and summer 2023. This could um, make um, for an interesting background. Look at this as well. Um, loves land, landlust. Um, beautiful accommodation, sort of beach hut style accommodation. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's sort of like a shed at the bottom of the garden. It's just wonderful. Who would love to have one of those? I certainly would. Um, Colouring page. And then we're nearly at the end of the magazine now. And we have some scrapbooking papers. And the idea is that you fold these into a fan design and make yourself a garland. Um, but I just think these are really fun for using in journals. Aren't these stunning, stunning patterns? And there we go. We are at the end. Thinking cap on. Let me have a look and see what I can come up with. I want to work in my Daphne's Diary journal. This is the one that I've been working um, on for the last um, few editions. And I've still got a few pages that um, I need to fill. So let's see what we can come up with. I've been having a flick through my journal. And I thought I might like to do something on this page here. And I think I'd like to do something with this teapot and hearts page because colour wise, it just matches perfectly with this. So I'm just going to carefully um, cut this out of the journal. I'm going to use my craft knife. Let's try and peel this back as best we can. Get as close into the spine as we can as well and take this page out there we go we've got a couple of pages but that's um that's all right so let's pop that off to one side for the time being and i think what i would like to do you see that's going to fit on really nicely but i just want to fussy cut around the teapot here let's do this i'm going to go around the squiggly line i just don't want that text um, that's in the bottom so let's try and clear, uh, keep this squiggle i like that i found a couple of pages that will work really well um, to fill in this gap at the bottom i could um, cut around this poem here and use a tiny piece from the bottom that would work really well color wise that's beautiful um, because of course i want to tie it in with the color scheme so the pinks and the peaches work beautifully so we've got that page there there is also um, this patterned paper here at the bottom that I could use. So on this first page, you know, either of these are the right size. I think I prefer the stripes. Where have they gone? I think that was um, more, more interesting. So I've cut the bottom of the page off and that's what I've got left. I'm sure we can find a place for that as well. I do think that I want to cut this off here because this just looks a bit odd in fact actually i think i'm going to have to cut right across the bottom there as well otherwise that's going to look really strange and just glue this over this cut out here so i'm just going to glue that down with um with a glue stick I'm happy with this page so far. I do need to find something else to go in the background and we'll have a look and see what we can do that um, in a minute. But I'm just wondering what I can do with this page here. And I'm wondering whether I can get this poem and the girls to fit. 
Um, I think I might be able to. I think if I trim um, just inside the gold line, then that should fit nicely. I think I'm also going to take this off to the paper trimmer and just trim um, on this shadow here because this page is a bit too long. And that's perfect. So I'm just going to glue that down as well. I think I'd just like to have a tiny bit of washi tape across here as well just to tidy that um, up a bit and I think that's going to be a super page. I'm happy with that because I really like how this runs into this next page here as well. The colours are just perfect. I hadn't planned this either, it just happened to turn out that way. Um, so I want to finish off this page here because, you know, it just needs something else. I've been flicking through the magazine and I'm wondering whether I can add this garland just to the top of the page and then find um, a quote that works well with with this so I'm just going to fussy cut the garland out next I think that's going to be perfect I'm just going to chop these end bits off here just because that's too long and then I'm just going to glue this down and again I'll just use a glue stick so that can hang from the top there like that and then I just need to find a quote and I think all this page needs is a quote and I found the perfect quote a party without cake is just a meeting and that's in the Tim Holtz ideology small talk for anybody that um, wants to know so how shall we add this a party without cake let's cut that there is just a meeting a party without cake is just a meeting and so I'm just going to add some extra glue because I just find um, that these don't um, stick very well how do I want to I've got a bit of a mark here so I think I want one there like that to just to cover cover that up and maybe we can have that one on an angle resist adding a few more um, little quotes as well it's the little things that make life big today is a good day together is the best place to be so that's that page finished and you know I think it balances really well I've decided to leave the page number as it is as I've said I'm not really worried about that so let's see what else we can do let's tackle the back of the journal next we have got a cluster of blue and yellow pages here followed by um, some blank ones at the back. I think these are some of my favourite pages. I absolutely love these. But I was thinking that I might be able to use the poster um, and this here that was in the magazine. Um, and what I'm thinking is that maybe I can add a piece of this. Obviously, I'll need to find something to cover, cover this up. Hang on a minute. I think that's upside down. Yep, it goes... Um, this way, which um, is even better. I'll need to find something to stick on here as well. And then I'm wondering whether I can use a piece of the poster, a piece of this, um, just to pop inside this page here. So let me fiddle around, maybe cut a few pieces out and we'll see what we can pull together. That's what I've got. So I've cut this apart so that I've got um, one piece that can be glued inside there and then another piece that can be glued on here like, um, like that. So I might need to trim the edge a bit because I was a bit off with my um, measurements but that's okay you know nothing that we can't deal with then I've got this which I'm thinking I can use as a pocket I do want to add some stitching um, around this and then I've got these two pieces left over as well and these were all off just one um, section of that poster so it was the top quarter of that um, poster now I'm going to fussy cut the butterfly out and I'm going to turn this into a tag I'm just going to trim this here and then decide what I'd like to do with it I've decided I'm going to glue this butterfly down to cover up that um, label and I think that will look quite nice you can see I've lost one of the antenna whilst I was um, fussy cutting but I can glue that um, on that back on so I'm going to have my butterfly there um, and then I'm going to have this quote when life gives you lemons drink lemonade and I've just um, printed this off on my printer and just mounted it onto some Daphne's diary blue paper so I'm going to stick the quote there something like that and then I've got um, these two that are made and I've cut out another piece of this faux coffee paper here and what I'm thinking is that um, I can glue this on 
and have it as like a little tuck spot. I've also got this paper here, which is from the Daphne's Diary paper box that I had with a subscription years ago. I'm going to cut a piece of this to fit just inside there. Then I'm going to glue this on and then I can tuck that inside here because this has got lemons on as well. So I think that will match really well. So that's glued down. So now I just want to glue this down as well. And I'm just going to centralise that um, inside my stitching and then I'll need to trim a slither off from there and I'm just going to glue this onto the side here and line up the um, stitching and I want to glue this on here so I've made myself a line on the back side so that I know where I need to glue I don't want to go past that um, that line Otherwise, I'll end up sticking it down to my background. And my little card can just tuck inside there like this. Now, there are a couple more butterflies on this poster. We've got this tiny weeny one here and this one. I'm going to fussy cut those out and just um, place these just on this little tuck spot here just to add a bit more detail. Our postcard can just tuck inside that pocket. That's what it looks like on the back. So we'll just pop that in there. Now I've got an idea for something to go inside this pocket here. I don't want to cover up the beautiful butterfly because I really like it. So I've cut myself two pieces of acetate that measure three and a half inches by seven inches. And what I want to do, I've also photocopied my page and cut out another butterfly. It's a slightly different colour, um, but that really doesn't matter. And so what I want to do is sort of pop this in, make sure that I've got an um, even space either side of the acetate. You probably can't um, see that. And I'm just going to add some um, glue stick um, onto the back of my butterfly and just stick that down onto one of the pieces of acetate. Let me try and stick stick this down and line line it up and to be really careful and take my time doing doing this because I don't want glue to spread and ooze everywhere. That's good enough for me, I think. There we there we have it. So let's take this out and see what it looks like on the other side. See, you can't really see the glue. Happy with that so far. I'm just going to burnish this down. Let's use a, peen, a clean piece of deli paper and I'm just going to use my finger to rub that down just so that I don't get fingerprints all over the acetate. And then I'm going to go away and wash my hands and I'm going to put the other piece of acetate on the top. I felt it was a little bit um, unbalanced, so I ended up photocopying um, this page here and just fussy cutting that butterfly out. So I feel that um, that works better. Now, before I do anything else, I just want to cut this into um, a tag shape. So cut one corner off. As I always do, take it over to the other side, just so that this is symmetrical. I'm trying not to get um, any fingerprints on this, but it's it's difficult. I'm not sure whether that's exactly right, but it will do. I'm just going to blow on that now and just use a J cloth to try and remove any fingerprints or as many as I can. And then I've got another piece of acetate somewhere, of course, because it's clear, I can't see it. And I'm just going to pop that down on top. I'm just going to use a bulldog clip. Um, let's have a look. I just want um, a little small one. This one here will do. And I'm just going to take it off to the sewing machine now and just sew around the edges. If I get fingerprints on this outside, I'm not too worried now because I can clean that afterwards. So I'm just going to take this off to the sewing machine and just start at one side and just go all the way around. I can breathe a sigh of relief. So I just need to cut the edges off. What is the best way to do this? It's really difficult to, to see. Let's cut the corners off here. In fact, it's qu quite easy to follow it with the scissors. And then I'm wondering whether I want an eyelet um, at the top here. I think I do. An eyelet. I've decided to use a piece of burlap. I've just got this little roll here. Came in a pack of three. If I remember, I'll leave the link. I got it um, from Amazon. So I'm just 
going to pop that on there like that and I'm going to take it off to the sewing machine and stitch it. I'm just going to add um, a tad of glue. Where's my piece of deli paper? Um, so just a tad of glue here just to hold it um, in place. You won't see that because um, I'm going to make sure that these are both the same same length. So let me fiddle um, around with this and take it off and just add a little row of stitching here. Popped it onto a piece of craft cardstock just so that you can see it a little bit better. So let's pop it inside the journal and see if I can line it up properly. I do think I'm going to glue this side shut as well because that's bothering me. Let's line that up. I am really, really happy with that. That's perfect. And it just means that I've got this lovely tag to add some interest um, and purpose for the pocket, but I can still see all that beautiful detail in the background. So let me just uh, grab my art glitter glue and just pop a tiny amount of glue just on the, on the side here and glue, glue that shut. Oh yeah, let's um, squeeze squeeze that together. I'm so happy with how this has turned out. I think it's a super effective page and I particularly like how the um, acetate has worked with this page here. Um, of course this was a previous project and I made this um, acetate pocket here to slip this tag in so we've got continuity which you know I like and for anybody who's interested in seeing the previous pages I've made in this journal I'll leave the link to the playlist in the description box below but yeah I'm thrilled to bits with them um, with that now I know that some of you struggle with the concept of cutting up these beautiful magazines um, but you know in all honesty once you've read a magazine quite often it will just sit on your shelf gathering dust so you know I just take great pleasure um, in using the images once I finish reading the magazine and filling these beautiful journals I just love looking through them as well I find um, that I get great inspiration from the finished pages so that's just my take on it if it's not for you I completely you know understand and appreciate that but you know I hope you've enjoyed today's video I hope it's given you some inspiration and ideas um, I do hope that you'll give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now